I really like baking. It's fun and relaxing, so I'm very enthusiastic. And I feel like I get very, um, I, have, I have good attention to detail when it comes to um, how everything comes together. When you're, you know, making a cake or making bread, there's timing for everything, and I'm really good with um, with the timing, with paying attention to how things look, how things are coming together, and I really like doing it. So I feel like enthusiasm's a good strength. I guess it would depend on what we're doing. There are some things I'm more confident with, so um, I feel I. I can naturally take charge, and if there's someone else who feels the same way, then um, I'm good at partnering, um, you know, uh, teamwork. Mm -hmm. But I also know um, when to back off if there's something that I'm not as comfortable with, something that I'm not as confident um, doing, maybe in it, uh, something that I'm not as com um, confident working with, then um, I don't mind asking for help or letting someone who um, who does that, whose strength that is, take charge. So I, I mean, I know my strengths and I can take charge when I have to, when, I'm, when I feel good about what I'm doing. I really just liked baking. I didn't know, um, cake decorating was one of my uh, first classes. Um, I didn't think that I would be very good at it. Turned out that I was better than I thought. I was really excited about bread. And when we first started, um, I had never made homemade bread. So I was excited, but I was kind of nervous. And um, I turned out to be pretty good at it. So um, I would say that, um, I don't know if it's my, my favorite thing to work with, but I feel really confident doing it. And um, I kind of like it because you might not get, um, because not all bread is the same. There's, there's um, a similar technique to it all but there's some things that are different depending on what kind of bread you're making, so it's kind of fun, and dough is fun to play with. I think a kitchen should have a flow, and um, sometimes even when we're packed, you know, if you um, have a good spot in the kitchen, then it doesn't feel like it, you know, where you have a stove, depending on what you're making, you don't want to be carrying things, you know, all the way across the kitchen and back. Sometimes, depending on what you're making, it's nice to be close, so I think my ideal working environment would just be one where um, you have everything that you need. You know, you're never wanting for anything. You never um, start making something and think, you know, this would have turned out better if I had um, a different pot to put it in or if I, um, you know, just, like we just have everything that you need. It's really important because I don't have everything in my kitchen at home that I need. And I've noticed when I try to make things there that I've made here, what a big difference it makes to have um, all the proper tools and utensils. I didn't feel like it was one of my strengths, so um, you know, when we first started, I leaned on my teammates a little. And by the end, we made bread by ourselves. You know, that was our final practical, and I did really, really well on my practical. And I made it all by myself. I didn't need to ask any questions. I didn't need, and I, you know, and we made two different kinds, so it wasn't like I'd mastered one and then, you know, I that was it. I was really proud of myself. I was very excited to have um, made something that I, you know, at the beginning of the quarter had never made before and have it turn out just the way I would have wanted it if I could have, you know, if I had my way for my final, the perfect bread. I had the perfect bread. I was very excited. Well, um, we're taking, I'm taking show pieces this quarter, sort of um, edible centerpieces and stuff, things that you could, um, you know, everything would be edible, but they're big productions. And um, it turns out that I'm a lot better at that than I thought I would be. My brother's an artist, and I always thought he got all the art genes in the family. And <laughs> we've made some pretty cool stuff, and some of them I've made by myself. And I've just, I was really surprised that, you know, if I had to sculpt something, it turned out pretty nice. I, I mean, it was out of chocolate, but <laughs> it was still pretty cool. <laughs> I was in the culinary program before I came to baking and pastry, and I mean, I've heard of different kinds of spices and, and herbs and stuff, but I only used what I knew. And we used stuff in here that you know, I've never heard of, that um, I've never used before, and 
I feel like I am a lot more adventurous in my cooking at home than I was before. Then um, when I go out too, um, I, I notice things, things that I've eaten before, like many times. I'll try it since I've been in this program and I'll think, wow, I've never noticed that before. And it's pretty cool. I feel like I'm, um, I don't know, I just like the feeling like I know something that maybe not everybody knows. It's, like there is such a thing as like learning how to taste things a certain way. I'll, I'll notice that there are some things that I try and I'll, I'll taste something, I'll notice something maybe new, but then um, I can tell that there's probably so much more to it that I'm missing. So um, there's something that I, I can't wait to learn more. You know, try new things so that the next time I try something, I, um, I can't remember what we were making here. We were making something that had like ginger and, um, I can't remember what it was, but I had Skyline for lunch like between classes that day. And I noticed so many things in that chili that I had never tasted before. Just because, I mean, because it was right there because it was weird though, I just, I like that. Like noticing things that you never noticed before. And there's a lot of nuance to it. I mean, you could make a basket out of sugar. Um, I mean, it's not easy, but I guess anybody could do it. But to make it look good, to make it look like something where people go, oh my God, seriously, you made that out of sugar? It's not easy at all. It's, it's difficult and time consuming. And um, we made flowers and cake decorating out of buttercream and it, it was hit or miss. Some of them came out excellent. Some of them looked like lumps of icing. And we made them out of fondant. And the more I made, the better I got. But you know, and but still, even as they got better, some of them were really good. They were, I wanted to take it home and show it to everybody, and some of them weren't that great. Um, but then when we were doing sugars, we were doing pooled sugars in sugar class, which is a lot harder than you would ever imagine. And our teacher made this bow that could have fit in the palm of your hand. It was tiny, it was multicolored, it was thin enough that you could see through it, and it was about yay big. And I thought, my, it was gorgeous. And I could not make one, you know, it, I could not make one at all. And I'm, I was trying to make this huge one because, you know, it's so intricate to make the tiny ones. And I, they kept breaking. They would come out looking like, is that supposed to be a bow? Cause I don't know what that is. And hers was gorgeous. And it really gives you something to work toward. It was Chef Coob. It was stunning. And, and then um, in cake decorating, watching Chef Turley, she's Chef Esposito yeah, now. She yeah, her, what, I mean, you could. It was nice to see something to strive toward because you think, "Wow, my flower looks really great," and then you look over at hers and you could practically see dew on it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, I wouldn't have been surprised. I see like bees flutter around, and it's definitely because there's so much more that goes into it to make it look as easy as you as it looks on TV. Yeah. I mean, you think I could do that when you're watching them on TV? No, you can't. You can't just sit down and turn it out like it's no big deal. I want to make money doing what I'm doing, but I would never want to open my own business. So I don't really think of it like business model, um, that kind of way. Um, and I don't know if I would call it a lifestyle per se, just because, um, I don't know. I, I want to do other things, you know, I, I want this to be, I like what I do, and I, I mean, and I want to do it, but I don't know if I would want to, you know, if somebody said you would make cakes, you know, 24 hours a day, it wouldn't be, I don't think it would be as much fun if I did it all the time, constantly. Something where I did it at work, and then I came home and did it at home, and then I maybe went and taught other people how to do it. At some point it would be too much. But um, there is a subtlety to it um, with making things out of food, but um, also with, you know, like, like the baskets and using modeling chocolate and stuff, but also the actual baking. So you do it because it's fun? Yeah, I love, yeah, it's fun. I, I even find it like relaxing. If there's something, you know, in all the preparation, you know, getting everything ready, there's something like, okay, now I'm, you know, it's like the build up to it and then actually putting it together. It's me. I, it's fun.